Welcome back. I hope everybody sticks around. This is going to be, I'm going to admit it from the beginning, this is going to be a talking video. Um, I've kind of got to get something out there. A lot of people don't realize this is a long-term project. Yes, the blazer, I wish I could have it done right now. I'm not made of money. I'm doing the best I can. But this is a long-term project because this is an expensive project if anybody has like even like looked online and checked out other videos trust me I did about how much money it takes to do like a 1j swap or even a 2j swap into like an s chassis or anything we're talking ten thousand dollars not cheap so like right now you know which that video comes out after this whatever we're getting the body back together but there's still a lot of things left to do so like the next thing I do after I get the body together is we're gonna do the radiator like I talked before is I'm trying to get a radiator that kind of tucks in because I don't have the room right there so I've already you know basically it's Google searching and this and that to find a radiator that will sit up here instead of back here and it'll give me the fan you know room back here for like Mishimoto fans so I have found the radiator I'm gonna run and the radiator is out of a Jeep Comanche the 4 liter so this is a 2.5 it's a 4 liter it'll handle it the reason why I'm going with that is because like getting a Mishimoto radiator which I'd love to have sponsor but trying to get one that fits it's gonna cost me like four hundred dollars it's just a an unnecessary amount of money for me right now into this so i can get an all aluminum custom jeep comanche radiator with fan shroud with two bs fans on it which i will switch to mishimoto for a hundred just for the fan you know the fans are gonna cost extra of course but all aluminum radiator and shroud and the two BS fans which I'm just gonna keep as backup is hundred and seventy bucks fits perfect um, that's gonna be the first thing so I can get that in kind of get that mocked up because I have to figure out where that's gonna lay then the next thing will be is getting the intercooler set up for this now being the only blazer that's Jay-Z swapped out there this isn't something that like oh i can like oh let me google it and find out what they use and this and that so basically we're gonna make things we have to make it so you know of course so like let's just get up here so intercooler will go here then we're gonna have to cut right through here somewhere radiator will be here so we'll probably put piping to come in through right in this area and then up and in yeah it's gonna be tight right here this side not so much this is a lot more open to flow in but uh, like intercooler let's see I've got a lot of prices right down so intercooler and some piping to get started it's gonna cost me about three hundred dollars so Radiator first, intercooler second. That can start getting a lot of that stuff. Now, I want to get a TIG welder because I have, you know, a MIG welder right there, but we're going to need a TIG welder because we're going to have to start, like, the couplers will work, but V-band, stuff like that would work so much better. So I'd have to get a TIG welder. TIG welder is $1,000. Okay, no big deal. Whatever. Um... I don't even have a transmission for this so you know a Collins adapter they're like 400 and some change then I need you know a transmission a CD09 those you can get cheap that's not a big deal don't know the price but you can get a CD09 pretty cheap but still you know we're talking transmission everything together to make the stick shift package work it's gonna run about a thousand dollars Still not that bad though. 
Um, the main thing that's going to cost a lot of money, which is going to cost around two grand to about twenty two hundred, is the standalone wire harness for the Jay Z in the um, ECU Masters Black. Wire harness is about a thousand dollars. ECU Masters Black is about a thousand dollars. Then there's like a hundred, two hundred dollar adapter to get everything working. So. $2,000 to $2,200 for the whole electrical system for this thing. That's the main thing. That is like the main thing. That's costing almost as much as I paid for the motor. Yes, I got this motor at a smoking deal because I actually got it before all the prices went up. You know, I need headlights. I need taillights. Um, I want to switch to a new grill because this one right here had the old grill because this is an 83, so I want to switch to the newer grill. You know, Headlights are only, I'm going with a better style headlight. The ones I've already picked out, they're like 60 bucks. Um, new grill, it's like 50, ain't no big deal. So it's like all these little things just add up. Suspension, um, drop the lower control or drop spindles for this are 120. Um, I still don't even have half of the airbag set up for the suspension on it. But like, we'll just kind of round it. The whole airbag suspension, everything is going to wind up costing me about $800, you know? So it's like, all this just keeps adding up. So it's like, we're going to, it's all going to get there. It's just, oh yeah, another thing. I'm thinking about switching to, you know, this is brake booster, all that kind of stuff. I haven't priced that out, but manual brakes and the website's manualbrakes.com. They sell a kit for this to switch this whole setup to a manual brake. That way it'll give me, I mean, I have the room. I mean, I can get my hand in between there, but it's just still tight. And I prefer a manual brake set up in this. It would just clean this area up a lot. Oh, racing seats, don't have that. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff to go. Um, I mean, well, the ugly paint job on this thing. I mean, look at that, that is the ugliest blue in the world. But, uh, let's see, is there anything else on my list here? Grill, headlights, tail, oh yeah. So this thing has a roll pan on it. Yeah, I'm taking that off. I'm getting, I hate roll pans. I love bumpers, I know it's weird. But this thing has a roll pan, I never fully welded it on. So we're gonna yank it off and we're gonna get a bumper put back on this thing because I love bumpers. So I think a whole bumper system for this because you gotta buy the brackets, all that, it's gonna cost me about a hundred bucks. Not that big. Yeah. And then, eventually, I do want to upgrade this motor. So it's like once it's up and running, and that's why I want like a standalone. Um, yes, you can kind of make this. I still have the computer, all that. You can kind of make it work. There's things to make it, make it happen. But... This motor is not going to stay stock, so it's going to get you know BC coil, B, BC coils, BC cams in it. I'm um, going to go to the upgraded, of course, after it runs and all that kind of stuff. We're going to switch the turbo out to a um, the Tomei turbo, a couple other Tomei parts on this thing to make it a little more power. Um, I am trying to break 500 on this. I think it's easily doable. So we're gonna need some upgrades later. But first, you know, and that's the thing with the standalone, you know, ECU Masters Black, it's tunable. So anything that I do and change, it's all gonna be workable. But there's still a lot of work to do to this. It's, you know, I work on it as much as possible. I still have, you know, I'm actually on a roll right now. I'm happy that I'm actually working on it. I've been in a roll. We still got finish up the body work, getting all this put back together. Then after that, I don't know what I'm going to do to this. But there's still plenty of work to do. So, everybody, be patient. Because, like I said, this is taking a... It's, it's going to take a lot because it's not a cheap process. And I work every day. And I put every bit of my money into my cars. So, I mean... If I was a bigger YouTuber, this wouldn't be an issue. We're working on it. We're getting there slowly. Another thing, speaking of that, 
guess I'll go ahead and say it because you know probably ain't nobody gonna stick around this long but if I break a certain amount of subscribers I'm quitting my job and I'm gonna do this full-time somebody who watches my videos he's made a comment to me a couple times a friend of mine and he's like really need to start making that choice he was like I see you love doing YouTube videos this and that he was like and you hate your job everybody hates their job but if I can break a certain amount of subscribers, I think I'm going to quit and go full-time YouTube and start really pumping out a lot more content. I mean, I put out a lot of content than it is, I think. I think I put out a lot more content than a lot of people do. And they make more money, whatever. But there's still a lot of work done to this, and we got a lot more ahead of us. So just bear with me on this, because this is a long-term project, and it is going to have a lot of work, a lot of upgrades, and a lot of money to put into this. And once it's up and running, we're going to enjoy the heck out of it. So stay tuned for this because it ain't going nowhere. Just like all the other projects. Ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we need to get all this done. <laughs> all right. Well, hope you stuck around this long because, you know, I just wanted to talk about a few things that we're going to get done in the future. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Catch you in the next video.